Campbell's comments, trying something very different. Uh, with thanks to Barristock, I'm going to do something through the winter months to brighten it up because it's a bit depressing. Alex Ashwood, hello to you. Hey, Polly, how are you? It is depressing winter time, isn't it? Yeah, it's a bit cold and chilly. It's a bit of a struggle to get out of bed mornings like this, but we get out of here and do the horses. And Tay, obviously you beat him out, um, Taylor French. That is, you'd beat him out by a good hour, hour and a half, I'd imagine. Oh, 100%. I've got to drag him out most mornings. Um, but I'm um, lucky we've got good staff here that tip the feeds in every morning. But, um, yeah, if it was just a one-man band with LB, he'd be in strife. Liam Mould is on the other side. He's the official clock, and uh, I think he's in the middle of this as well. But anyway, we won't worry about that too much. We'll say very, very quickly, you guys got your new property here. We will do a stable chat. Um, not today, because it's a little bit muddy and a bit wet, but um, you must be wrapped with how it's come across, Tay. Yeah, it's come up really, really good, obviously. Exceeded our expectations and, yeah, didn't really realise how good it was going to be until we did make the move. So, yeah, no, very appreciative of everyone that's put something into this place and, yeah, hopefully we get rewarded with some results. It's big, Alex. There's a lot of roof roof line here. You wouldn't want to fall through any of the roofs along here when you're um, building it, would you? No, that's right. Uh, I fall through uh, the ceiling like once before. I don't want to make it happen for us. Uh, but yeah, the, the builder, Jeffrey's done a marvellous job and even the fencer, um, Jumbo and a few other guys, they've just done a terrific job and without them we probably wouldn't be standing here today. No, absolutely right. We're going to have a bit of fun. I have the quick draw. I'm going to call this the Barristock Dash. Basically, first fastest person to yoke a horse up and we're going to go anywhere. Anyone wants to get involved? reach out to me and we'll, we'll go from there. I'm going to call into a few other stables. Um, Joshy Duggan, Marie actually dubbed you in, so you're going to be definitely one of them. But we want to see who's the quickest person to harness a horse up in harness racing. So a little bit of fun. You guys have gone and selected both your horses. You have a slight issue, Alex. You said not many of your horses wear head checks. Yeah, not, very rarely our paces wear head checks, so um, we might be in a bit of strife here. Um, so we'll put them on loose and see how we go. Right, so the rules are simple. The gears are here behind me. Um, they can put it wherever they like. No rugs on the horses. That's fine as well. Have to take two steps. Once a horse takes two steps, the official clocker, Liam, that's uh, once they've had their second step, then we'll stop it. We're going to run the total along, go along, see who is the fastest quick draw uh, harnesser in harness racing. As I said, proudly sponsored by Barristock. Reach out to the guys. They haven't returned me call, but they're going to donate something. I've just got to work out exactly what it is. Uh, Tate, Liam has uh, set the book here for you guys. This is a little bit unique because we're going to have two to start it off with. He's put you at the favourite at $1.65. Um, how's your confidence level? <laughs> Yeah, look, if I had a little bit of warning that you were coming like Alex did, I probably could have prepared myself. But, um, yeah, I'm not real confident being that short. Um, I told him. He said he was going to tell you straight away. <laughs> yeah, that's what he always says. <laughs> you're going to play the smart game here, mate, and uh, try and win, or are you going to go for brag and rights and try and beat her? No, I'll be going for bag and rights. Uh, she beats me enough on the track, so uh, I, I need to get one over her. All right, you two, get ready. You've got to get behind the horse. So the rules are simple. We'll let the guys uh, get themselves into the position. They are not allowed to touch the gear, Alex. There's all right. And the boots, just so everyone can see. Actually, I've got to start this one up as well. Um, we'll show everyone down there that the boots are together. Alex has chose to leave his on the ground. Oh, not sure. Not, not, Tay, you can leave them wherever you like. I'm just trying to see where Tay's are. Tay's are over there. Right up. We're going to have a little bit of fun um, and see how we how we go. Uh, Liam, you, you're ready to go? Right. Three, two, one, go. And they are away. Tay didn't mess around. She's already got the girth done up. Alex has thrown the girth over the other rail, so that's got to be a negative to start it off with for him. Tay, no laughing. Laughing cannot be good for you if you, uh, if you laugh at him, but uh, going along nicely. Now, they're both paces. Clearly got to have hobbles. Both chose with the Buxton breastplates, which is interesting. I thought maybe, you know, the straight breastplate um, across the side might have been a, a better option. But um, Krupper going on. Interesting the way some of these uh, people do their horses and their hobbles as well, because uh, some people have the hobbles connected. But Tay is definitely ahead at the minute. We're expecting Alex to uh, start coming back. But uh, Tay's already got the hobbles on over the top. Alex has gone for the flashy white ones to look at me, which is a lot of people would probably um, believe that with Alex, that's for sure. So uh, Tay not quite got them all in place and starts elected to put the legs in first. Um, he's making up a bit of ground, Tay. I don't want to put any pressure on you, but he is actually starting to make a little bit of ground up here. He's actually running because one of the rules are they've got to take two steps. And look at this. This is unusual. Alex has chose to put the cart on. He's only got one leg, two legs in, and he's already attaching the cart. Tay's gone for the more traditional route. She's putting the boots on first. She's got one front leg in and the, and the two boots. I can see a fair bit of competition. Look at him go now, Alex. He's got everything going on here. I'm not sure how the hobbles are sitting, but he'll get there. He'll fix that part. He'll fix that up in a, in a minute. Um, 
because you guys, they choose to tie theirs up, um, I'm going to call it the Karen Manning way, or Peter Manning probably, he was the one that started it with the shoelaces up over the top um, to get them all ready. Alex is he's an eager looker, he keeps looking at things, Tay's uh, got the card on, she's got all the legs, sorry, she's got the bridle on, all legs in the hobbles and the boots on, Alex is still struggling with that, he's actually struggling to get the head check on. Ah, oh, cheeky, very smart actually, no throat latches on either of the bridles. Tell you, I tell you what, Alex is, well Tay's saying she has got one, Alex is starting to get a, a little bit ahead of you here Tay, I think you're in a bit of trouble, he's starting to shine, shine um, along. What we will do, Liam the official clocker, we will clock individually, we'll lap them because um, we'll have a run in total because obviously there'll be a bit of male and female. Now she's coming back Alex, you're in trouble now, she's got the other side clipped up. Just about finished, and she did clip the safeties up too because she is in the race bike. Now the pressure's coming on. We're getting very, very close. Hopefully my camera's safe. Both head checks, both head checks are up. Um, Tay's getting the range back. She's in the sulky. One, two, Taylor is your winner. Alex is still not in the cart yet, so we can't stop it for Alex. Get in the cart properly. Um, can't believe you got beat from that head start that you had there, Alex, but uh, well done. We stop it now for Alex. So very, very good. Thank you very much. Just a bit of fun. Tay's got a smile from ear to ear, so well done. The winner, um, the girls take strike first blood. And um, what were our official times, Liam, just so people can work on? Taylor was 2.42. Two minutes and 42. And Alex? 2.53. 53. 2.42 and 2.53. Fake girth. No, no, well, we'll just we'll turn a blind eye. You don't have your safeties done up as well. Bit of fun. Thank you very much, guys. What we say, Liam? 2.42? 2.42 2.42 2.42 2.42 for Taylor. 2.53 for Alex. So if you want to try and beat the guys, you want to have a bit of fun, give me a yell. Um, thank you very much to Barristock. Thank you very much to the guys out here at Alex uh, or Ashwood Racing. It is Ashwood Racing. I'll get into trouble otherwise. Um, and we will be doing a stable chat here a bit later on. But thanks, guys. Thank you very much. And uh, really appreciate having a bit of winter fun.